Let's get high on our own supply. Breathing techniques for more energy. What's up everybody? Coach Zach here and in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you five breathwork techniques that will instantly give you more energy, open up your lungs, and maybe even make you feel naturally high. Now these can be done anytime throughout the day, but ideally you would do them first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. There are some contraindications to these techniques, which means that some of you maybe shouldn't do these. Right? If you have glaucoma, if you've had stroke, these breath techniques might not be for you. These breath techniques will create some pressure in your head, so just tread carefully. Right? Start out slow, start out gentle. If at any time you get lightheaded, if you get dizzy or a little wobbly, then maybe take a couple minutes rest and then try again. If you get dizzy or wobbly a second time, maybe this isn't for you. I'm all about the exploration process, learning about your body, finding out what works best for you. Let's get it. This first technique is called the cleansing breath. It will help clear your lungs out of any stale air and get them ready for the more advanced breath techniques I'll share with you later. Now these breath techniques are gonna be done through your nose and your mouth because we wanna get as much air in our lungs as possible. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your feet and have about a hips width distance stance. You're gonna take a deep breath in through your nose and your mouth. As you reach your arms up, take as much air in your lungs as possible. You're gonna take a little back bend, so knees bent, reach up and back. And then on your exhale, you're gonna fold, bring your head below your heart. You can hold here for five to 10 seconds on the breath out. And then inhale, you can choose whether you come up with a flat spine or whether you round your spine, stacking your vertebra, reach your arms back up, deep breath in. Exhale, fold. The next technique is called brain breathing. It's gonna bring some oxygenated blood and energy to your brain. Now, if you have glaucoma or those problems where you don't want pressure in your head, this is the technique you wanna stay away from. Feet under hips, you're gonna take a deep breath in, slight bend in the knees, reach up. When you fill your lungs up, you're gonna hold that breath in and then you're gonna fold with the breath held in. Head under heart, hold for five to 10 seconds with the breath in. Keep holding the breath in. Come back up with the breath held. And then on your exhale, fold again. And you're gonna hold with the breath out for five to 10 seconds. And then when you're ready to come up, inhale, come back up. Hold, fold. Breath out, fold, and hold. As for reps or sets, you can start with maybe three to five rounds, work your way up to 10. Again, this is a self-exploration process. I'm showing you the techniques, but you really wanna figure out what works best for you. However many times it takes for you to do it, to get the most out of it, feel recharged. The next technique is the lateral power breath. Now it's the same concept like we just did the prior two techniques, 
but now you're going to bring some side bending to help open up the sides of your ribs, get oxygen into those areas that might not usually get air in. So what you're going to do, just to go over the hand placement, when you bring your arms up overhead, you're going to interlace your fingers, but release your index fingers and your thumbs. So you're going to make a little, like a laser gun, right? Pew, pew, pew. That's what the hand placement is when your arms are up over your head. So for this technique, the way that you're going to start is feet under hips. You're going to take a deep breath in again, reach the arms up. Bring your feet together. Try to bring your big toes and your heels to touch. Deep breath, hold that in. Find that interlace, index finger and thumbs, reach up. Hold that breath in and then bend to the right. Left. Right, left, maybe two or three times. When you're done, feet wide, release the interlace, exhale, fold. Hold five to 10 seconds with the breath out. Come back up. The next breath technique I'm going to show you is a yoga technique called Kapalabhati Pranayama, otherwise known as the breath of fire, also known as skull shining breath. This is a very powerful technique that will help clear your mind, calming it down, but also energize your body. I mean, when you get done with this and you open up your eyes, colors might be a little bit different. You might just have a little bit of an altered state of consciousness. It's an extremely powerful technique. It's best done on an empty stomach. Ideally, first thing in the morning, supercharge your day. The setup is important. Traditionally, this is done sitting on the floor. And what you wanna do is you wanna elevate your hips. So you want your hips to be over your knees, right? A lot of us, when we sit on the floor, our knees are a lot higher than our hips. So what we wanna do is we wanna elevate the hips. Right now, I'm sitting on this ledge, but you can sit on a block. You can sit on a pillow, whatever you need to sit on, you want your hips elevated over your knees. The reason why you want to have your hips elevated over your knees is that it promotes a neutral lumbar spine. What you don't want to do is do this technique with a rounded lumbar spine, right? We're going to be pumping a lot of energy, a lot of prana, a lot of chi, a lot of life force up our spine to our heads. But if our spine is not in a neutral position, that energy is going to get stuck and we're not going to be performing the technique correctly, maybe even doing more harm than good. The inhales and the exhales of this technique are both done through your nose. The focus is on making it a forceful exhale, right? You want to focus completely on having a powerful exhale and just letting the inhale be passive. The inhale would just happen on its own, but you make the exhale powerful. You want to focus on the area just underneath your belly button. That area on each exhale, you want to bring it in towards your spine. So it's like a pumping action on the exhales. So as you breathe out, that area right under your belly button comes in towards your spine and the inhale just happens on its own. Now, depending on what level you're at, is going to determine what tempo you're going to do it at. The slower you do it, the easier it is. So if you're just beginning with this technique, then start slow. This is an example of the beginner's tempo. If you're more intermediate, this is what it looks like. If you're more advanced, here you go.
Just to show you what my belly is looking like while I'm doing this. When starting out, maybe you do this five, 10 times, take a little break, get your breath back to normal, maybe do three rounds, and you can build it up, right? Maybe you go for 15, 20 breaths, maybe 30, and you just can keep building it up. Again, if you get lightheaded or dizzy, take a break and then try again. Start gentle, build up from there. Looks like this. Then when you open your eyes, maybe the color's a little bit more bright. Maybe you feel like a little more calm, a little more energized. It's a great feeling. Again, just some quick pointers on this Kapalabhati breath. Focusing on the exhale, passive inhale, drawing the space right beneath your belly button in towards your spine, making sure that your lumbar spine is in its neutral position. Final technique I'm gonna show you is called the power breath. Now it's actually not called the power breath, it's just the name that I made up, but hey, it works. It's very simple. All it is is four sharp inhales through your nose, followed by four sharp exhales out the mouth. This technique works great at any time throughout your day, whenever you feel like you need a little more energy or you just wanna calm down your mind. Looks like this. If you notice, I'm not breathing up here. Like take a look down at my belly, it's all diaphragmatic, right? So just like the Kapalabhati breath, it's all right here, down in the belly, not up here. So go ahead and give those techniques a try. See which one works best for you. Maybe try it in the morning or whenever you need a little bit more energy. Go ahead and like the video. Leave a comment down below of your experience with whatever technique you try. And don't forget, subscribe, mother Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm serious. When I do it, like, the colors change. Like, the greens get more bright. It's awesome. <laughs>